Greetings, horror addicts and readers. I am Emery and Rich. I am the editor of Haunts and Hellions, which is what we're here to talk about today. Do you like dismal and moody? Are you into tall, dark, and monster? Well, you're in the right place. Lighthouse Legend by Emery and Rich, 1775, New England. Crashing, roaring, destroying, the ocean's fury it tears. Ships and seamen in shell life, the corpses and bones it wears. Badge of honor it carries, no matter who ye may be. Mercy for none it clutches, all should beware of the sea. She knew what thirst it did have. For men bound to their duty, two brothers and a father, all claimed as ocean's booty. And yet she awaits her love, just as she had been, they say. But she'll wait and wait and wait. He will not come home this day. That poor ship, those poor men. Lost in the storm forever, bodies frozen, buried deep. The sea takes them as hostage, swallows them whole, souls to keep. Lost love atop the lighthouse, dress gray and torn to tatters, hair thin, wild in the wind. To her, none of that matters. She looks on, not in mourning. She looks on, only hoping. The vessel will show, hold tight. She's not mad, she's just coping. "'Tis she!" a stranger calls out, squinting eyes, grasping his chest. If she looks down far below, he'll say he failed her test. That poor lady, her poor love. The old lighthouse legend says, if you believe in such a thing, to lock eyes with her, it will make the banshee sing. What the living don't realize, what the living do not see, is her griefs not a sideshow. It's a tangible plea. High above the shoreline waves, she calls to those who will hear her. Let my love come back to me and save me from this terror. But still the sea rages on, reminding her who's boss. I've claimed your love forever, and I'm not sorry for your loss. I hope you've enjoyed this read, and I hope that you stay tuned to listen to others read their work. Now, Haunts and Hellions is available at Amazon in print, and soon, June 13th, it will be available for Kindle. So, cuddle up, read a spooky gothic romance, and tell them Horatics.net Press sent you.